Welcome back to the LCP Digital Learning Channel. Today I'm going to go through some quick settings and some gestures on your iPad that will increase your efficiency and make that iPad work just a little bit better in the classroom. So let's jump right in. First thing I want to show you is how to pull up the dock. So a slow pull with one finger from the bottom pulls up the dock and then you can pull up a multitask where you drag the icon over to the side. So don't forget about that split screen. Okay, the next one is how to quickly go home. Five fingers, pinch to the center, very quickly brings you home. All right, one more time, five finger, pinch quickly, brings you back home. Okay, next, if you wanna see all the apps you have open right now, if you'll do your one finger pull but continue, it will bring up all the apps and so you can jump in to another app quickly just like that. And then again, five finger, pinch home. So I'm inside of Keynote. If I wanna go back and forth between two apps, four finger swipe goes back and forth. So between two apps, I can do four finger swipe. Or if I have three apps open, I can go between those four, three apps. Okay, the next one is to bring up Control Center. So the top right corner, one finger brings down the Control Center. And then inside of here are all kinds of different apps that you can long press to bring up more information. Okay, next to bring up your notification center from your home screen, one finger pull down from the top will bring up all the notifications that have been happening on your iPad. And again, you can clear these out by the X and then clear. All right, so to get to your widgets, you're going to go top down to bring up where all of your notifications are and then swipe over here and this will bring up any of the widgets. For example, some weather, maps, files, calendar, things like that. This is a quick look at some things that are on your iPad. Okay, to quickly get to your camera, you can go to the control center and then right here, you can bring up your camera. Okay, one thing most people don't know about the keyboard. So if I'm in the typing mode and I would like my cursor to be somewhere in the middle, if I do two fingers on this keyboard, it will actually turn this into almost a trackpad so I can move that cursor to where I would like it so that I can edit something from within the middle of the sentence. One of my favorite ones is to find apps quickly. If you'll pull from the home screen, the middle down, it will quickly bring up a search bar and you can search things like Keynote. If I was trying to find Keynote, K-E-Y, here's Keynote. Maybe I needed pages, start typing pages and it'll give you some ideas for apps that can pull up right here. All right, I hope those quick tips were helpful. See you next time. If you found this video helpful, make sure and hit that like button. To make sure you get more videos like this, be sure to click right here to subscribe and to click the bell to make sure you get notifications. If you'd like to submit a topic or concept for future videos, there's a link in the description down below. And if you're looking for more digital learning tips and tricks, make sure to follow us on Twitter.